Hey guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another quick rush kit video for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the X99S X Power AC. Uh, a bit of a mouthful, usual with MSI really. If we go around the back, other than the reflectiveness showing, oh me, look. Um, we can see four way multi GPU compatible M.2 Gen 3 X4, that's uh, 32 gigabits a second up from the old Gen 2 stuff, which was 10 gigabits a second. DDR4 support, obviously that's because of the new CPUs. 12 phase CPU digital power, there are a lot of phases around the socket as well, which I'll show you in a bit. Enhanced PWM cooling, which is top section, but the enhanced bit is the, um, uh, the heat pipe here. There's an overclock essential section up in the top right end corner and there's Intel Wi-Fi AC module. This on an overclocking themed board does confuse me somewhat because I'm pretty sure any of the overclockers out there aren't going to use the Wi-Fi. So that's kind of like the break where it kind of gets into uh, the mainstream area type, just black and yellow kind of Bumblebee style builds. But anyway, I think it's time that we uh, have a look at some of the accessories that come inside the box. Okay then. So first and foremost, your uh, wireless dongles. Um, so your dongles, aerials. They're kind of nice and adjustable. You can have them, they're magnetic, so you can have them up or that way, so you can adjust it. So there, there's a couple of them as well, so it should help with your signal quality and stuff like that. You've got those. If you really need to use them, obviously that's completely up to you. I'm personally a bigger fan of home plugs and stuff like that. Next thing that we'll look at is the back plate, which might sound like a really simple thing to want to look at, but around the back, it's actually all black as well, and I actually really like that. It's a nice, it's a small, small thing, but it's a very nice touch, because normally this is silver. The fact that we've got the, sil the, the softness around the back, which is where all the other motherboards have started to, to kind of go, but to have that blackness around there, I actually think that's a lovely little touch. Now, something that confuses me is this. This is um, their D-Lib die guard uh, and you, the overclock backplate, and that's basically so that you can get rid of, on the motherboard itself, these little threads. So essentially you take this backplate off and replace it, and that's so that you can bolt your normal um, uh, dice pot or LN2 pot through. So that side of it's brilliant. This side of it, the D-Lib die guard, this confuses me because this is so that you can D-Lib your CPU. But this is a 2011 board and the CPUs are soldered. And the only thing online that I've seen with someone trying to delete it, they actually ripped the core off the top of the CPU. Now there is a lot of stuff here saying removing CPU socket and or dis disconstructing the CPU may invariably damage or destroy the CPU. Um, I need to clarify about this with MSI. Uh, I'm putting it in the video, I have tried to call them quite a few times today, but this worries me because if the CPUs are soldered, I don't think this should be in the box at all because I don't think even experienced users are going to be wanting to remove the tops of the CPUs. So this is something that I am going to have to clarify with MSI later on, but if you buy one, for Christ's sake, don't take a uh, Stanley blade or anything to the top of your CPU just yet because you may end up losing a hell of a lot of money. The other thing that they uh, have uh, included in the box obviously not with the fan, is the OC fan stand. And essentially, it's kind of an extender for uh, your motherboard bolts. So rather than, this is your motherboard um, standoff, which you'd normally screw the motherboard through, this acts like the screw, and it would screw in, without me dropping it, like a total pro, would screw in like this. But what I'm gonna do, I just wanted to show you it, around and about like this. And then what I'm gonna do, is actually show you it on the motherboard itself. Okay then peeps, so just a quick one. I've got the OC fan stand, fan stand, band stand, yeah, fan stand fitted, uh, just to give you a rough idea of uh, how it works. Obviously you don't necessarily have to have it plonked just there, you can put it on any of the uh, mounts along the top, but you can see it's actually brilliant in its simplicity is the easy way. You've got extenders that go down and it's shaking because I've got the motherboard stands here. But I didn't want to pinch it into the motherboard itself too much. So it screws into your motherboard stand rather than your motherboard screws, which obviously holds the motherboard down. And then they've got the large, large risers and then uh, screws at the top, thumb screws that you fit the stand to. And then you can obviously 
direct the airflow. You can have it blowing at a dice pot if you wanted or an LN2 pot. You could have it just blowing over the top of your CPU or memory or something. You know, there's a few different options there really. There's a, there's a fair bit of adjustment in it as well. So it doesn't necessarily have to fit on just these ones. Although that is pretty much its limit. So you could have it uh, on the, the lower ones if you wanted blowing air directly at your graphics cards or something. Um, but like I said, it's brilliant in its simplicity. Very simple little thing, essentially just to stand for your for a fan rather than balance it on top of stuff. Could actually help you direct the airflow slightly better. Um, I would go if you were running a super high speed fan, um, uh, do the the bolts up tighter than I have here because, like I said, I was just I'm just trying to demonstrate it to you, and it's not all pinched into a a case or anything. But anyway, so yeah, there's that side of it, and I actually quite like that. So we've got the old girl down on the desk again. And that is our first look at the X99S X-Power. I know people are going to be wondering when I'm going to be reviewing this, but I've got the uh, X99 Gaming 7 to do first. And then I will be moving on to this after I've done some memory bits and bobs on the 2011 socket. Because obviously there's a lot of people that want um, a slice of the review calendar at the moment. So I'm having to uh, schedule stuff in. So we're going to do the, uh, like I said, the Gaming 7 first, and we will come back to this one later on, which is why I've given it uh, a, a rush kit out in, but also so that you guys get to um, uh, see what's upcoming. But anyway, this for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another rush kit video for you. Out.